Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn decimal to octal conversion, octal to decimal conversion, decimal to hexadecimal conversion and hexadecimal to decimal conversion. First section covers decimal to octal conversion. The decimal integer is converted to the octal integer number by successive division by 8 and the decimal fraction is converted to the octal fractional number by successive multiplication by 8 method. In the successive division by 8 method, the given decimal integer number is successively divided by 8 till the quotient is 0. And the remainders read from bottom to top gives us the equivalent octal integer number. So, we have to divide decimal number by 8 and keep the track of the remainder. The remainders read from bottom to top. Let us take one example. 125 of decimal is equivalent to which number of octal? So we have to divide 125 by 8 till we will get quotient as 0. So we will left with remainder 5, 7 and 1. Now read reminders from bottom to top will give you your octal number that is 125 in decimal is equivalent to 175 in octal second example covers fractional portion that is 0 0.6875 decimal equals to something in octal in the successive multiplication by 8 method the given decimal fraction and the subsequent fractions are successively multiplied by 8 till the fraction part of the product is 0 or till the desired accuracy is obtained. So we have to multiply given number with 8. So here we are left with 5.5 as result. Splitting this number into integer and fraction have 5 as integer and 0 0.5 as fraction. Repeating this process till we will get fraction part as 0. So our final answer will be 0 0.6875 into decimal is equivalent to read this integer part from top to bottom and put 0 point in front of it. So 0 0.54 is our final answer. If you remember in decimal to binary conversion we divide number by 2 and here we divide number by 8 so we can say in general if you want to convert decimal number to any other system then you have to divide that decimal number with base of the other system that is 2 in binary and 8 in octal same way for fractional part we multiply 2 in binary and here we multiply 8 in octal so for fraction part in general if you want to convert decimal fraction to any other system fraction then you have to multiply with its base second section cover octal to decimal conversion what is technique multiply each digit by 8 raised to n here 8 represents the base of octal number where n is the weight of the digit so what is weight the weight is the position of the digit starting 0 on the right and finally we will add our results now let us take one example of integer first that is 724 in octal so first we will write 724 with some spacing here bit position or you can say digit position of 4 is 0 digit position of 2 is 1 and digit position of 7 is 2 so we will multiply 4 with 8 raised to 0 so digit itself into base of the system here we have octal system and 0 represents digit position of this 4 so for 2 we will write 2 into 8 raised to 1 and for 7 7 into 8 raised to 2 then do some mathematical operations we will have 468 as our answer. Example 2 covers fractional part. 
so 43.25 first we will write 43.25 with some spacing here 43 is integer and 0.25 that is fractional portion so first we will write 3 into 8 raised to 0 and 4 into 8 raised to 1 like we have written in first example for fractional part we will write minus power of the base so for 2 we will write 2 into 8 raised to minus 1 and for 5 5 into 8 raised to minus 2 again do some mathematical operations here we will have our result that is 35.3281 in decimal number third section cover decimal to hexadecimal conversion if you remember decimal to binary conversion and decimal to octal conversion then you can do decimal to hexadecimal conversion very easily just remember one thing we will have successively division method and successively multiplication method over here also so for decimal to hexadecimal conversion first we will divide our number by 16 and keep track of the remainder so remainder read from bottom to top gives the equivalent hexadecimal integer number now let us take one example for integer only 1 2 3 4 in decimal so first we will divide 1 2 3 4 with 16 the quotient is 77 and remainder is 2 now again 77 divided by 16 will give you 4 as quotient and 13 as remainder repeating this process till we get quotient as 0 in hexadecimal number systems we have total 16 symbols 0 to 9 and a to f so for numbers 10 to 15 we have alphabets a to f that is for number 10 we have a for 11 we have b likewise for 12 c 13 d 14 e and 15 f so instead of 13 we will write d so final answer will be 4 d 2 if you write your answer like 4 13 and 2 instead of this d then you can not differentiate this 13 as one number or 1 and 3 as different number that's why we are writing 10 to 15 as alphabets in hexadecimal number system second example covers fractional part so in fractional part we will multiply this number with 16 again splitting this number into integer and fraction we will have integer as 0 and fraction as 0 0.5 repeating this process till we get fraction as 0, 0.0 writing top to bottom in integer portion that is 0 and 8 don't forget to write 0 point before that 0 0.08 in hexadecimal is our answer fourth section covers hexadecimal to decimal conversion what is technique multiply each digit by 16 raised to n 16 is the base of hexadecimal number where n is the weight of the digit the weight is the position of the digit starting 0 on the right and finally we will add our result the first example covers only integer portion so we will write a b c with some spacing c into 16 raised to 0 where 16 is base and 0 it digit position b into 16 raised to 1 and a into 16 raised to 2 now we cannot multiply digit with alphabet so we have to write equivalent numbers of this alphabet so 10 for a 11 for b and 12 for c do some mathematical operations here we will have our answer as 27418 decimal second example covers fraction portion also so first we will write 43.25 with some spacing for integer portion repeat this same process so 3 into 16 raised to 0 and 4 into 16 raised to 1 for fraction portion we will have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 as our power. So 2 into 16 raised to minus 1 and 5 into 16 raised to minus 2. Here we have only digits, no alphabet. So do some mathematical operation over here and 
we are left with 43.25 in hexadecimal is equals to 67.1445 in decimal number. Thank you.